make a hole uh, and get some rice. Make a hole in the middle of the rice and fill with your fish. Buenos Nachos, the internet. I'm Josh Darnin, and these are a couple random children that showed up at my doorstep. So I'm very excited. Today we're doing another exact instructions challenge, but the awesome thing about this is we got these instructions sent to us from Japan. English teacher Satomi Miura sent us an amazing care package with all the ingredients that we need and the instructions for making Rice, rice balls. balls. Yes. So we're going to go through these instructions. We're going to see what we get. Hopefully at the end of it, we actually have something we can put in our mouths. Not some poisonous random dude thingy. Yeah, no poisonous random dude thingies. So the first thing we're going to need to make rice balls is rice. Mm. So in the instructions, they're assuming that we already had cooked rice. So we've got these really cute instructions here. Dear the Darnit family. Johnny, you want to read these? Dear the Darnit family, here are my students' instructions for making rice ball. Rice ball is called onigiri in Japanese. It is a sole food like PB and jelly sandwich in the US. These instructions are all after the cooked rice ready. We usually put some rice in a big bowl with a rice paddle and prepare some, some kinds of filling in small bowls. So these first instructions are from Takao. It's an eight year old boy. Step number one, wash your hands. Step two, fill the bowl with lots of rice. Later. Sprinkle the black sesame and salt. Done. Four hours later. I love this little. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> Sorry. Now what's it say? It says done. <laughs> that, that was it. This is Yukina. She's a girl. She's age six. Step one, wash your hands. Cut the plastic wrap three inches by three inches. How do you open this? Dad, how do you open this? I'm really confused right now. A little help from mom. Put some rice on the wrap. Put the filling on the rice. Form the rice and filling into circle with the wrap. Take the wrap away from it and wrap the laver. Step seven, eat it! Okay. <laughs> mm. Is it good? I'm following the instructions of Kyoka, girl, age six. Step one, wash your hands. Step two, prepare the small bowl and place the plastic wrap on the bowl. Okay, I've prepared the small bowl and place the plastic wrap on the bowl. Get one ladle scoop of the rice in the bowl. Put the filling in the center of the rice. Shape the rice into a circle, then sprinkle the black sesame and salt. Wrap the laver on the rice. There well, it is. There's my rice bowl. Anna, she is seven years old. Cut the plastic wrap nine inches by nine inches. Rub some salt on the wrap. Rub some salt. <laughs> I like it, buddy. I can't. Scoop one ladle portion rice on the wrap. So just... That's not a portion. Like... <laughs> Look. He's doing great. Perfect. He's doing great. Oh. <laughs> He was doing great. <laughs> this is sticky. Welcome to cooking with Evan. <laughs> Put your favorite filling on the rice. Make it best, make it best. We're doing our best to make a very big mess. Yeah. Wrap the laver all over the rice. Good. Shape the rice into round. Done. Can you take a bite?
four hours later. How's that taste? Okay, let's do it. Tepe, a boy, age eight. Wet your hands with some water. Get some rice on your hands and shape it into triangle. Good enough? Nice rice turd. <laughs> Make a hole in the middle of the rice and fill in your favorite filling. Wrap the laver around the rice. Okay. I'm following the instructions of Ayumu, boy, age nine. Get a pinch of salt and pour on your palm and spread it like when you are washing your hands. Get some rice with the salty hand and press the rice once. Make a hole with your thumb finger. Your thumb finger. Then put your favorite filling in the hole. Vegemite. We should trick Evan into eating it. Get a bit of rice to cover the filling. Form into a triangle. Wrap a piece of labor around the rice. Mm. Done. Sarah will be following the instructions of Kaho, girl, age nine. Place the plastic wrap on the bowl. All right, well, I'm not gonna exact instructions it. I'm gonna infer instructions it. Get the rice, half portion of the bowl. Put your favorite filling on the rice. Oh, that's a, that's a lot. lot. Is that too much? Oh my god. I just said add it. Okay. Get the other half of the rice Ooh. and cover the filling. No, it's going to be a big ball. Press the rice and form it into circle. Am I supposed to be using the plastic wrap? Maybe, but it doesn't <laughs> say that. Done. That's it? That's it. That's your rice ball. Yui, girl, age 11. Hey, same age as you. Place the plastic wrap on the counter. Oh my god, this is my favorite instruction right here. Get the rice, which you can eat, amount. I love it. Put your favorite filling in the center of the rice. Take the four corners of the wrap and squeeze it. <laughs> Shape the rice into round. Sprinkle some salt. <laughs> Done. Done. Yuna, then girl, it to you. age 11. Place the wrap, which is eight inches by eight inches. It's placed. Get the rice, which is three inches by three inches with rice paddle. Make the rice a bit flat and put a pinch of your favorite filling in the center of the rice. Ah. Cover it a bit rice in order not to see your filling. Wrap the rice with a plastic wrap and squeeze it a little. Form the rice into a round and circle. Wrap the rice ball with the laver, which covers all over the rice. Done. You are following the instructions of Sayaka, girl, age 10. Wash your hands well. No. I'm not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> Cut the plastic wrap about 12 inches long. Oh my Get the rice about a baseball like big and put it in the center of the wrap. Get your favorite filling with a teaspoon and fill it in the middle. The salt. Woo. Put a bit rice on the filling to cover it. A bit? Okay. Out a bit, that means like a lot. A bit means a lot? In my world. <laughs> wrap it with the plastic wrap softly, then press the rice a few times. Shape the rice ball into a triangle. Take the rice ball out from the wrap and put it in the middle of the laver, which is one inch by five inches. Wrap the side of the rice with the laver. Done. This makes no sense in here. Really? Looks yeah. pretty good to me. Kotaro, boy, age 12. Get the rice, which is as large as a baseball, form it in a triangle. Take the wrap away and wrap the rave around the rice ball. Done. K, boy, age 15. Rub a bit of salt on your palms. Get some rice on your palm. Form the rice into a triangle. Make a hole in the middle of the rice. Put the filling into the hole. Put a bit of rice on the filling. Get a piece of laver and wrap around the rice ball. Done. <laughs> this one's from Kyoka Girl, age 18. Cut the laver into 14 small circles. Open the salt bottle and rub some salt on your palms. Get some rice on your palm and form it like a dice square. So you have your cue ball done? Nope. Yeah. Donna, your cube is giant. That should be hanging from my rear view mirror. Put a Japanese red plum, hard small one, in the center of one of the face. Put the 14 labor circles on the face to make a dice look rice ball. Thanks a lot, Kyoka. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for trolling us, Kyoka. <laughs> I'll do a two right there. I'm gonna take a nap. I have my dye. Do you want to eat it? Yeah. Eat the dye. 
Ah. Oh. This is Ayumi, age 18. You get some rice in the bowl and sprinkle your favorite furikake seasonings. Mix them. Rub some salt on your palms and get some rice. Do they mean do they mean the rice that I already got, or do they need more rice? Ah, this is making a mess. Make a hole uh, and get some rice. Make a hole in the middle of the rice and fill with your favorite. Sorry, Ayumi. I'm, uh, I'm admitting defeat on this one. <laughs> Senna, girl, age 18. Get your rice bowl and sprinkle your favorite furikake seasonings. Sarah already did that. Divide the rice into fifth and make five small ball. Yours is better than mine. Yeah. Why didn't yours stick to your hand at all? Because I wet my hands. Uh, I did too. It's on camera. Everyone. We'll see. <laughs> you wet your fingertips. You look like you're going like, to bless your baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what happened. Back me up. Leave a comment. Back me up. <laughs> it's cute already. Line up the five balls in a big cut plastic wrap on the plate. There's your plate. I put a Japanese red plum, soft, bigger one, on the left side, just next to the small ball. There's a small ball? Wait. <laughs> Damn. To make a caterpillar face, cut a laver, two tiny eyes, and two stick-like rectangles. Oh, you already cut this out? Ah! Look at this cuteness. That is cute. Done. Do not eat. Keep it. Ha ha. Ah! It says it right here. Ha ha. Huge thank you to Satomi of IE Treehouse School in Japan and all the students that send these instructions. Thank you guys so much for putting so much thought and care into this package. It was really fun. I'm so happy we got to do this with our kids. And shout out to YouTube commenter Sarah Essie. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you guys for watching, for liking, subscribing, for sending us ideas. If you've got something you'd like to see us do, leave a comment. We read your comments. We read your emails. We would love to do more stuff that you send us. This has been really fun. I've got a huge mess to clean up. Peace out, the internet. Thank you.